about to play a video from Rob, and I don't mean to be biased by doing this, but I'm really not into Fed. I'm really not familiar with Fat Ball Sicilian's videos. I don't really watch them that often. I was aware of him before I was aware of Rob, but I like Rob's content a little better, you know. So I'm not tuned into him. No disrespect, but um, I'm making this video because I've seen YouTube beefs in the past go really, really crazy. I've seen people go to jail. People call people's probation officers and a lot of different crazy stuff happening as a result of beef on YouTube because it gets to a point where it becomes super personal and super hateful. But check this out. I'm going to show you this to show you the degree that this has gotten to. For real. Um, anyway, the following day I hit him again for whatever over the cash app. I saw something about the cash app because he'd made a comment about my financial situation. Don't regret that I did that. Yesterday, I got information from somebody who's who's uh, told me stuff before and I have no reason to doubt them, along with another text or email, whatever it was, saying that FBS's uh, cash app got froze because he was a deadbeat dad. All right, and I think he goes on to retract that. I'm not sure, but he does say that he didn't have uh, proof of it, 100% proof, just hearsay. Now, okay, first of all, you got to understand that going back and forth on YouTube is really, really profitable and it, there's a financial incentive in it. I'm not saying that these guys are doing it for that reason, but you got to understand something. Hip-hop artists, rap, the, the, the record labels that manage rap understand that going back and forth creates a buzz and it actually brings attention because this person's audience and that person's audience is going to cross over and check each other out. Fatball Sicilian's uh, subscribers are going to check out Rob. Rob's subscribers are going to check out him and it polarizes the audience. It makes a uh, certain percentage of the audience have to pick a side and then people in the new and people who are neutral who are saying, "Hey, we don't want this at all. You guys should just push forward." So I'm not saying that these guys are doing this for a financial incentive, but you understand that their numbers are going up all around the board because that's just what that's just the nature of having a, a competition with each other. You're causing people to check each other out. Your subscribers are checking out his, and then it's creating a bigger buzz. So outsiders are seeing it, and, and it's uh, there's a, there's an incentive to it. Uh, Rob, I don't think he's doing it for that reason. I think he's doing it because he's been in prison for a very long time. He just got out. He's only been out for a year and a half. And I think he processes disrespect in a personal way because you have to be that way in prison. And I, I, he probably feels like, hey, I've only been home a year and a half. Of course I'm going to process disrespect that way. I've been in prison for 20-something years where I had to process it that way. So give me some time. Fatball Sicilian, I mean, I look at it like this. They don't even live in the same city. They don't even live in the same state. They don't even know each other. They just cross paths online, and it got super personal. And I just hope that these guys can get past this, man, because like I said, I've seen a lot of crazy YouTube beef, and it got really personal. People who don't even live in the same towns, never seen each other before, go out of their way to harm the other person. And I'm not saying that these guys are at that point. I'm just trying to say I, I, I would prefer that they don't get to that point. Rob is on parole, I think. Fat boss Sicilian. I don't know what he has going on, but I just don't want to see these guys devolve and get to a real, a real mud slinging contest. Because I've seen it so many times. I think both guys are cool. Like I said, I'm not that familiar with Fat Boss Sicilian. His content. I like Rob's content. He has some cool stories. And uh, yeah, man. You, you, yeah, I hope they can push, push past this. And I see a few people in the comments saying, "Hey, man, you need to get past this on Rob's channel." And I'm pretty sure Fat Boss Sicilian, his subscribers are probably telling him the same thing, man. Peace.